What is going on, people? This is Ultra 24 here. Yes, you are seeing this right. This is PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, but this is perfect for the next topic because I didn't want to play that game yet. And uh, I'm kind of curious, actually. Let me see something. Nobody plays this game. I can't play it online anyway because I didn't enter the uh, I didn't enter the code. But um, what I want to talk about is uh why i haven't been playing or i haven't been like doing smash 4 content recently or like why haven't i been playing smash 4 and to be honest guys i hate to say this i really do don't get me wrong i love the game it's it's a nice game you know i'm just doing one on one uh let's see random all right jack let's get it yeah, I, I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's a pretty fine game. It's just... Oh, I forgot I got neutral stages. I got soccer. I can do this. Whoa, what the hell is that? That is one weird neutral stage. I got Final Destination right there. Um, I'm just looking through. Hold on. I'm about to go back to the topic. Let's go... You know, I'm just going to hit random. Okay, got to work. But to be honest, guys, it's starting to get old for me. Because, A, I've been playing it for far too long and far too much. Like, I didn't think, like, I can get burned out of a game like that. And, B, it's balancing is pretty freaking dumb. Like, take this game, for example. Like, this game is mad stupid when it comes to being balanced. Uh, whenever it comes to balancing. I remember one time, they had, like, a freaking... I think right when Smash Wii U was like Wii U and 3DS were announced, like they were like, "Hey, we're we're balancing this game." It was it's crazy. It, it was it was crazy whenever I first saw. It. Oh my God, help! But balancing for this, huh? Balancing for this game is atrocious. Balancing for Smash Wii U isn't atrocious. But in my opinion, it is still pretty freaking bad. Now, before anybody continue, I'm just going to be clear right now. I know Super Smash Bros. is a party game. Matter of fact, I prefer to play it as the party game. As the game it was intended to be. Gone. But yeah, I, I know that Smash 4, that Smash Bros. in general is a party game. Like, Melee? Melee was intended to be a party game. All that crap you see in Melee was a happy little accident that, that just happened. Oh, why are my controls backwards again? What the hell? Oh, crap. Go. Okay, never mind. And it's just like... Pe people are going to get mad at me for saying this. But yes, I, I do know it is a party game. But at the same time... Even with certain party games, you might want to, developers kind of want to balance it a little bit more. Now, here's the thing I did find out about, uh, about fighting games recently. Like, it is hard for, like, developers to make a fighting game. And, wait, what is this? Oh, what the hell? No, you come here. But, yeah. I know it's hard for developers to make a fighting game with more than eight characters that's pretty much what the thing i read about like a game with more than eight characters like it's going to be atrocious for balancing it's going to be terrible uh, you come here real quick and it's like and it's like i i know like i said it's a party game but at least consider balancing consider balancing in some part now, I remember when the first when Smash 4 first came out. And what the hell is this stage? I remember when Smash Wii first came out. And uh like they wanted to uh start doing balancing and stuff. The way they they balanced it at first was through for glory. As as you saw, like whenever for the people that did play pre patch Smash 4, which was disgusting by the way, which I will say by the way, before I continue on, patches were the best thing to ever come out of that game, but at the same time they were sometimes the worst thing that came out of that game. Like patches can benefit a game, like, like balance patches can benefit a game. Oh god, I got blown away. 
the balance patches can benefit a game, but it can also hurt the game. <sighs> I missed. Oh, I had a level one. What? I didn't even know I had a level one. But yeah, balance patches can hurt. Oh, come on, give me this. Yeah, it can hurt, and it can also it can also help. But it, it more hurts than help. Let's think of some of the balance patches we've had that that is pretty much like helped certain characters and certain things. So we got the whole steel uh, shield stun thing. So that was that was pretty helpful. That was that made some characters better. That made some characters worse. It, it, it helped a lot. I'll just say it benefited. Like nurse, we got like Sheik's kill power. We even though she still has it, we have. Uh, we have Luigi's down throw nerf, which like completely balanced the character. God, God bless. That was something they needed to get rid of. Cause that, was, no lie, that was stupid. Like I liked Luigi. I liked him being stupid, but that was, that was too stupid. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Let's see. What else do we have? What else do we get? Now we got we got a bunch of stuff that benefited a bunch of characters. Now the bad that came out of this. Let's see, uh, the first, what was, what was the bad thing that came out of it? Okay, pre-patched Bowser, like, the, the Bowser before we got the current one, which is the last one right now, and possibly before the inedible Smash NX comes out. Oh, wait, I'm at level two. Screw this. Oh, get back here. There we go. And, uh, pre-patched Bowser can kill you at pretty much 90% no matter what percentage you are that was bad like taking a character like balancing a character should not be taking taking something giving the character something let, let me rephrase that balancing a character should not be giving the character a stupid ass brain dead combo to make him better instead of working around the stuff that he that's bad about him like bowser he's i wouldn't say he's slow but he, he has terrible terrible frame data and it's like instead of fixing that instead of like working upon that you know i'm gonna just go nah screw that i don't know how to use anybody in this game to be honest but instead of taking that aspect instead of like working around uh working to uh fix the stuff about him instead they take a shortcut and give him something pretty freaking dumb and it's and it's like <laughs> it's just like what's the point <laughs> you just made bowser pretty stupid like he's good don't get me wrong he's he's good he's actually not bad he's not terrible but it's just like don't be lazy and take the stuff and just give him something so he can be good instead of working around the stuff that that instead of working what did I say pretty much they took Bowser and they gave him something just so they could say okay he's good again or he's good now let's see another character um hey, this music is kind of popping wait a minute uh let's see what's another character what's another character well, I can't think of anybody, but like that that's one character. Like characters like Marth, characters like I, characters like Mewtwo. It's how you do buffs. It's how you actually buff a character and give them stuff that that actually like helps them instead of giving them some brain dead freaking com uh, combo throw and just calling it a day. Like that's how you balance characters in Super Smash Bros for Wii U and 3DS. Jesus Christ, he's at level two help. Oh my goodness. I need to grab him. Oh! Jesus Christ, help me. But yeah, characters like Marth, Ike, uh, who else? Uh, Roy, he, he got some stuff, but at the same time, like, it sort of helped. Sort of. Like, I, I like Roy now, but back to the topic at hand. Yeah, characters like Marth, Ike, Mewtwo, um, 
who else actually got like a significant buff um why does he carry a chain a chain gun that, that's weird all got significant buffs and they buffed them the correct way or nerfed them the correct way like Luigi like all they needed to do was nerf it down there they did good that's all they did or like Sonic Sonic is another example of like how good they're able to nerf people Sonic and Diddy like Sonic and Diddy were probably the two biggest like one of the two two of the two biggest threats in the game no you're not doing that to me I'm mad that I even missed yeah, get that out of there. It's just like Sonic was stupid. Whoa. Like Sonic was stupid. Like I, I come to think that Sonic was honestly t like if no DLC character was in the game. Like if Ryu, Cloud, or Bayonetta was in the game. But don't worry, I'm about to talk about that bitch in a minute. Like if those two characters or those three characters weren't in the game, I'd honestly think Sonic was top. Uh, Sonic is top three. Like before, like he started getting the nerves and crap. Like Sonic was honestly top three, and you know what? Him making him being top three. Oh god, that almost killed me. I'm mad that I missed it. Him being top three didn't bother me. Him being top three because you can press one button bothered me. You can literally go down B. I'm trying to think down B into like neutral air. Nice 30 to 40 percent damage for free. For free. And it was just mad stupid. I don't even know what's going on over there. I'm just beating the crap out of Kratos. Get up. Oh. It's just like. Oh, that's not how you. I, I missed. Come here. Like Diddy Kong's another example. Like the up air crap that that was stupid. Like you have to admit, he's not as like I have come to think about it. He's not as bad as Brawl Diddy because Brawl Diddy had two bananas. Imagine if he had multiple bananas and he could do that up air crap. Yeah, he'd be broken. But no, we we had to complain in order to get that freaking thing nerfed. It was stupid. Even casual players didn't like it. That that's how bad it is. Like casual players didn't like that. It was stupid. It was mad dumb. But God bless Sakurai actually like buffing and nerfing characters like throughout the throughout the game of Super Smash Bros. for Wii and 3DS. Like I really appreciate him actually taking the time to do that crap because without that Sonic would still be top three, and I would not like that. Like I would honestly not like that at all. Get up. Gone. Oh, I can bring this back. Uh, but yeah, it's just like I'm really glad that he decides to nerf uh, the buff and nerf characters in this game because if he didn't do that, why am I stoned? That's stupid. Jesus Christ, that's tough. You see, you see why I don't take this game seriously? You see the crap that I have to deal with? I'm not taking this game seriously. Never. Never in my life will I take this game seriously. Select your character. Like, the fact that he actually does like buff and nerf characters is so great. So great. I love the fact that he does that. I'm just gonna go random. Okay, Nathan Drake again. Okay, wherever this Toro. No, we're not getting doubles. Okay, yeah, we'll get the fat bitch. Okay. Yeah, really do appreciate the fact that he does that. Really do. But at the same time, the final patch. We got Corrin, Bayonetta, and we got the Fire Emblem update. That's pretty much what that update that update was. It was Corrin, Bayonetta. Let me rephrase that. Bayonetta and the Fire Emblem update. That's literally what it was. And in terms of like other characters, like like I said, Marth, like that that was a pretty good update for like Marth and stuff because he finally has the range that he's supposed to have. 
he finally freaking he can kill finally and he actually has follow-ups like that's what Marth. that's the Marth I like and that's why I started using him more I think I got some stuff to, I think I got stuff either that or either like forward smash or something like that uh, Lucina pretty much got the same thing as Marth except without the tipper so not too significant but hey what can you do and then we have the two newcomers Corn and Bayonetta well boy where do I begin now people this is no lie the reason why I kinda stopped playing the game if you guys see my videos or my video of uh corn killing me with the counters and don't worry like I like I like corn I, I like using corn I like using Bayonetta too but I, I feel the same way as if I play pre-patch Sonic or or Rosalina I feel dirty using the oh my freaking lord this fat freaking you know she's about to catch All right. catch work there we go. Uh, yeah, it's like if I use Bayonetta or Corn, I feel like pre patched Sonic and Rosalina. Like I feel dirty using the characters. Because I honestly think Corn takes more skill than freaking, uh, what you call it? Oh my freaking lord, I'm dead. I can actually concentrate now. Yeah, Corn takes more skill than Bayonetta. Wait, 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 what skill? what skill is there if all I can do is just press down B and win? And Bayonetta! Bayonetta. Oh boy, where do I begin with this? Alright, so let me let me just get something out of the way real quick. The reason why I didn't put her in my top five because I honestly thought it wasn't gonna be possible. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like actual like characters like Nintendo wise or like close to Nintendo. I didn't think Bayonetta was gonna be in, although I did want her at the beginning. Like whenever the game first got announced, Bayonetta was actually the character I wanted to be in Smash 4. And you know that saying, be careful what you wish for? Oh uh, yeah, that's me right now. That, that's me. That's, that's actually me. Yeah, be careful what you wish for because you will regret it. You will honestly regret it. And I regret every choice that I made whenever I freaking said I want Bayonetta in Smash. Because she is so beginner friendly that it hurts my soul. Like, I didn't think it was possible to make a character that beginner friendly like it, it's bad if like someone's terrible on for glory oh that, that would crush people it's bad that if you like use a character you're going for glory and like the the guy you play is terrible and you beat his goddamn ass 2 0 like, two, like two, you two stocked his ass and then you go, and then he's, and then you like stay as your character, but he switches to Bayonetta, and he beats the ever living shit out of you. Don't you think that there's a problem? Like I can understand, like with me at PAX South, where we had the there was the PAX Arena, and I entered, and my good friend Ivan, I, I forgot what his actual YouTube name is, but he's he's pretty good. He's actually really good. And he beat he, my Fox. I think, I don't know if he two stocked it or if he barely beat it. <laughs> but it's bad. But it's one thing where it's like, okay, that was, you beat one of my good characters. Now I'm just going to switch to Cloud and see how good I do. And surprisingly, I got fourth in my pool. I wish I didn't. I wish I made it up, but I got bodied by uh, Kira, I think. Or Karna, or whatever the hell his name is. And I got bodied by him. And, like, me going from Fox to Cloud, that's not a big deal. It's because I'm already good with Fox. Like, I'm, I'm a decent player. Like, I can actually play the... Oh, my Lord, this fat hoe. <laughs> like, I can actually play the character. So, playing Cloud, I can also play Cloud, too, because I actually have been using Cloud a lot. So, I can understand that. But, if you're goddamn terrible, if you're just ass, and you... Get your ass beat. Your and you switch. Yeah, I'm going to go right in again, actually. 
and you get your ass beat by this freaking uh by this bayonetta hold on let me switch characters again uh. oh my freaking lord no screw it so if you're on for glory and you beat his ass, and then he switches the bayonet and beats your fucking ass. There's something terribly wrong with that picture. Like that shouldn't be happening. Period. Like characters should take skill, not pick up and fucking two stock somebody with them. That's stupid. That is stupid. That is stupid design. It's bad when like Abadongo, one of the one of the best Japanese players that are out there. Is complaining about Bayonetta because a Bayonetta bodied the shit out of him and for glory. For glory, people. And I know there are going to be those people. They're going to be like, why don't you just adapt and, and get good? And you, you know what? You go fuck yourself, alright? Because adapting to that shit is not... No. No, I'm tired of people that say you need to adapt and you need to uh, get good. And you need to get good because that is probably the stupidest shit I have ever heard come from a goddamn human being. Like, if you're one of those people that say that, that you actually fucking eat popcorn with a spork. Alright. Because let's just say. So, so if, I catch, if I catch any of you, like, saying adapt and get good, and then I see. Oh my freaking lord, I hate this goddamn character. <laughs> Kratos is stupid. Uh, but if I see oh, I'll catch work. Oh shit. There we go. Oh, I almost got him. But yeah, if I see anybody like just say, oh you need to adapt and get good. Uh, you know what? How about you fucking eat like the largest part of my goddamn ass? I don't wanna see I don't wanna see you complaining about anything. You dicks. Cause, uh, cause saying, telling someone to adapt and I died again. Telling somebody to adapt and get good is not going to help the problem. You're just making it worse. Especially when I had my Rosalina problem, and then I see the same people that told me, "Oh, you need to adapt and get good." Complain about Bay and that. Oh my freaking lord! And I see the same people saying, "Oh, you need to adapt and get good," and like, no, no, you, you know what? No, not this time. Not this time. How about you get your goddamn ass, fucking study some fucking videos, and adapt and get good. All right? Because that is the stupidest shit ever. I hate when people tell me that. See, I I will only say that if people if other people have told me that. Because I remember I said that on Twitter one time, and like people were just like, damn. It's just like you need to adapt to get good with Rosalina. You know what? No, 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 no. Go fuck yourself. Do I end this already? <laughs> I think this will be the last one. Uh, how long I've been recording for? Twenty-four minutes, yeah. So yeah, pretty much that's the reason why I stopped playing Smash Four for a bit, and I've been going on the games like Street Fighter Five and Marvel vs. Capcom Three. Because those games are pretty lit and it is actually pretty refreshing to like not play Smash for like a good while. But I I have been I have been going back and I will continue to go through tournaments. And if I do go to a tournament, then most likely I'll just like attend. And if I do compete, I'll probably just pick Cloud and see how far I can go. Like last time. Because uh Yeah, I don't wanna don't wanna deal with that. I think the last tournament I went to, I went to uh, Genesis 3. No, besides Pax, uh, the besides the Pax Arena, I went to Genesis 3 and got utterly bodied by False. Like that was god awful. But other than that, that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. That's the reason why. Because first of all, the community's kind of stupid. Like the community's cool and all. Don't get me wrong. There's some cool people like deal like deal one like the cool ones, the top players. They're cool as fuck. It's just the the nobodies. It's the nobodies that are just like annoying as shit, telling you to get good and adapt and all that shit. And it's just like, shut the fuck up. 
Uh, okay, that match ended. So I'm going to end off this dank discussion with with my final words. Um, you will be seeing more Smash content, probably a little bit less. Like like I said, like after I do the uh, the final series with Smash, there's still going to be Smash content. I'm going to be doing Smash shenanigans still. I will try to get somebody so we can do Brawl minor shenanigans. Hopefully, I can get somebody to do that. And that is pretty much it. Sorry if I was like j jabbering the entire video, but I had to get a point across and uh, I'm not good at it whenever I'm playing a game. Thank you guys for watching. This is Alternate24 and I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully something different. If it's not, it's going to be the fourth dank discussions about Pokemon. Take care and I will see you guys next time.